Alright guys, it's Fade Editing here and today I'm going to be showing you how to make really nice 3D text and I have been doing some work with Idamello and he's been helping me understand the concepts of 3D text and objects so he wanted me to do a tutorial to help you guys so what we're going to do is open up Cinema 4D first and do the dimensions by pressing this button here go to output 1280 by 720 and this is what the final image will look like before I start so we'll have nice text looking like that so what we'll do is mo graph mo text and we'll move text wherever we want and then we'll type wherever we want as well I'm just going to type fade because fade editing or what I'm putting fade there we go and then we'll, I'm going to choose a nice font and the font that I like the most begins with E and I'll put a link to this in the description for you. So where is it? It's like really nice for 3D work and things like that. So here it is. It's called Ethnocentric. So there we go, we've got the text here. And you've got to keep it in the area of the sort of grey bit, not the dark grey bit. So we'll first we'll do the depth to one hundred and this makes it 3D so then we will just move the text around a bit and first you can press C on the keyboard and this splits up every like text into one part and you can rotate them which looks really nice on um, backgrounds and things like that so I'll just quickly rotate them you can rotate it like any way you want like up like that, down it depends whatever you're, looks best for you. I'm just going to do this really quickly. So there we go. So that will look something like that. And then we'll go into get this color here. Or well, we're going to make we can make two colors. I've made a blue and a white. And then you just drag the blue onto each of the letters here and you have each letter individual as you press C so that it just so you can rotate it as I said earlier so then we'll just do the same and put the white on each one and after we've done that then we can split it so the text will be in two separate colors so I'll just put the white on wait a sec. just put the white color at the front so then we'll go into and we'll press shift on each of the blues here on the keyboard, wait a second so we'll click on one and we'll do shift, shift, shift and on here we'll press C1 and what this does is it makes the white text on the back and the blue at the front so that looks really good so if we just render that out see it's starting to look really nice so if we go into each of our objects here, our text, we can do fillet cap on all of them and I recommend changing it to 4 centimeters, which makes it more rounded off. So we'll do fillet cap on both of them. 4 centimeters again and we'll just do the following. Actually it would be easier just pressing shift on each of the things and then doing fillet cap on each of them again. Right, so four see it changes it to four four hundred there. So we've got all of them on that and then we'll do fill it cap again and then we'll do four. And I recommend four because it just it looks more professional so see if we render that out now. Now we've got it all sort of rounded instead of sort of squared off which makes it look really really nice so we've got our 3D text done now and what we could do is get a light into the scene and it look, the light's really good because it makes the text look sort of more brighter as you can see it's starting to appear there so just drag it out as much as you can and then drag it up and maybe just adjust it a little bit so right that should do so it's much brighter now and then 
if you import HD uh, MI image, it makes sort of the makes it look more sort of reflected off of the images. So we'll import a sky thing, and then you can just put the sky wherever you want to. I'll just do the same as what I've done with the text, uh, the light, sorry. And then on sky here, we're going to go into just make a new color again, and I'm going to go into press this one here and we'll bring up a HDMI image so HDRI image sorry just use this one here and once we've got our image here we'll drag this onto the sky thing that we've just created and then we just render this on it so it makes it a lot brighter than it already previously was so what our problem is is that we have a white background and white on the text as well so what we do is go into sky and cinema 4 d tags and go to compositing and click that and after we've done that that's basically it we finished the text so then we'll go into the output there and this is where you can save it to wherever you want to save it and always save it as PNG file if you want to use it for speed arts and things like that, YouTube backgrounds. So we'll PNG and always click alpha channel. This is what makes it invisible in Photoshop. And then just save it to whatever destination you want. And before you actually save it, we'll go into global illumination, which you'll find down here, and it'll say global illumination. And we'll go into GI mode, we'll do IR plus QMC still image and go into a median CAC and ch change the stock stochiastic samples to low and ch change the record density to low as well and that's it finished so we'll just it's all saved and then after that you want it to be saved you click the middle button which I'll just show you as it starts off what's happening and so there we go and it takes quite a long time to render because we've made it such good standard so after it's finished you'll see down here it will be there wasn't there won't be a percentage anymore and this will be all color so hope my tutorial helped you thanks for watching see ya